Now we've got a proton moving at a speed of 3.0 times 10 to the 4 meter per second and there's a magnetic field of 0 0.55 tesla as shown below. Find the direction and the magnitude of the magnetic force on the proton. So quantity, it's, all, it's always nice to write down the quantities given to you first. So we are given the speed, it is 3.0 times 10 to the 4 meter per second. We are given the charge that is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19. And it's gonna be plus because we're talking about proton. And the magnetic field B, which is 0 0.55 Tesla. And the magnetic field is coming out of the page because it's, because it's dot, right? So the magnetic field is coming out of the page. The proton enters like this and encounters a magnetic field, which is coming out of the page. So we have to figure out the direction, the magnitude of force. So basically we have to figure out this factor, okay? Now we know that this, in general, Lorentz force is given by a charge times electric field plus V cross P. But we don't have any electric field here, so it's just Q times V cross P. Now, as you can see, V is in this direction and magnetic field is out of the page. So the, dis the, so the angle between V and B is 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 90 degrees right so we have q v b sine theta and sine 90 is one so this will be just q v b and that will be the force okay and the 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 direction of this force will be because v is coming down right and b is out of the page that means if you curl your fingers so whenever you want to figure out a cross product like this, let's say A cross B equals C, where A is pointing this way, B is pointing this way. So let's not make, okay, yeah, let's, let's, right, let's make you a simple example. A is pointing this way and B is pointing this way. So you curl your fingers from B, right hand fingers, from A to B, and the thumb will give you the direction of C, right? So that's what we have here. Q is charge, but vector V is crossed with vector v, B. So whatever the direction of this cross product will be, will be the direction of this force. So the electron enters here and the magnetic field is out of the page. So if you can use your right hand and you curl your fingers from the direction of the velocity to the direction of magnetic field, you'll see that the force direction is here to the left to the left right and the coordinate system is not given to us you can just say that's towards the left direction okay so this is the direction of the magnetic field and the magnitude will be just q that is 1.6 10 to the minus 19 v that is 3.0 times 10 to the 4 times B. And it is already given in Tesla, so you don't have to worry about that. And this will give you an answer in Newtons. And this is 1.6 times 3.0 times 1.5. It's going to be 2.64 times 10 to the minus 15 newton to the left and because of that what will happen is as soon as this guy enters this magnetic field it's going to go in a curve like this because it is experiencing this force 